Hey, what's up, everybody? Nick Underhill for New Orleans Dot Football, and you're watching The Dot, presented by Matt Bowers Auto Group. The Saints are hosting free agent wide receiver Jarvis Landry on a visit today, and this could potentially be the start of the big move the team has been looking to make on offense since the start of the offseason. Landry is one of the better free agent wide receivers to hit the market, and his fit on this team is fairly obvious. He'd add another good intermediate threat to the offense, be a good target for Jameis Winston over the middle, and pairing him with Michael Thomas would give the team two really good, strong options in the shorter areas of the field, which would then make it harder to defend deep balls down the field. And then you add in Alvin Kamara on those choice routes out of the backfield, and they become a really good, really dangerous offense. Now, signing Landry wouldn't be the only move the team should make at wide receiver. And I use that word should there because I think they should still add another young player, even if they do sign Landry. The, the length of time that this team has went without getting new, young, developmental talent in a wide receiver over the years is really something that has been one of the downfalls of this offense and put them in the position that they're in now. So I think you still need to do that, but I think signing Landry then creates a situation where the Saints can do just about anything in the draft. They can take it any direction they want to take it, and they aren't forced into making a pick at 16 or 19 just because they need to get a player at a specific position. So signing him takes the major edge off. It makes the offense a lot better immediately, and it could be on its way to being a really different situation coming out of the draft if the team manages to add a third receiver behind Michael Thomas and potentially Jarvis Landry. But first, they got to find a way to agree on the money, and that has been the big issue for the Saints this offseason is finding players at the prices they want to spend. So we'll see how this one plays out. We'll have the whole thing covered on neworleans.football. So keep it locked with us throughout the day to see how the story develops.